welcome to my first ever weekly vlog. I have decided to start a weekly vlogging because I only upload two days a week now. So I want to have a main channel type of video and then a weekly vlog on my channel. I kind of got this kind of inspiration from Amber Knight and the weekly vlogs are more interesting to watch, I think. So here we are. Welcome to my first ever weekly vlog. I'm hoping it'll go okay and I will have to remember to keep on vlogging. But it is Monday, the 25th of October, um, and I am starting work at quarter to 12. The time is currently 20 past 10. I'm making, I am having an early lunch because I'll be working at quarter to 12 until five o'clock. However, I only get a 15 minute break because I'm only working five hours pretty much. I can early lunch and then on my break I'll have like something else to eat and then I'll finish and then have my tea and stuff and that's how it works. So I'm working at this job four days this week. I'm doing overtime two days at the moment and then I'm only contracted two days. So I'm contracted Monday, Tuesday but then I do overtime on the Wednesday and Thursday but hopefully if the salon does pick up I might be able to drop one day's so overtime I'm hoping you will have to see but anyway I am currently making a pasta and sauce the chicken and mushroom flavour I love these so much like it, this flavour is it, the best one out of the pasta and sauces in my opinion so yeah I've got my dressing gown on I've got my PJs on I have been in the shower I've just decided to put my PJs back on because I don't I want to be lounging in my work clothes because like it's just it is comfortable but it's it's just no need do you know what i mean so i'm making my lunch and then i'm finishing at five and scott is actually coming to mine he's actually staying over tonight and this evening i'm actually going to the cinema to go and watch is it halloween kills or something he watched the trailer last night and oh my god it looks absolutely terrifying i will definitely be holding on to scott for the whole film i bet you so what I'm going to do is after work, I am going to buy some kitchen roll, how exciting. I've run out of kitchen roll and so has my mum. I'll basically use it to clean my makeup brushes with and everything like that. They're very boring, I know. And then I'm also going to be buying a few snacks for the cinema because I'm not being funny. The prices of the popcorn and sweets and like everything at the cinema is super expensive. So... I'm just going to buy all the snacks when I finish work um, and then at least I want it'll be spent about £10 on popcorn or something, something, it's something ridiculous like that, you know what I mean? But this is pretty much ready, I'm going to have my lunch and I'll probably see you once I finish work, I'll probably look really tired and really like, you have no energy but it's a life isn't it? <laughs> So yeah, I'm gonna enjoy my lunch because I am actually starving now. I am home from work and Scott is here. He's staying over tonight oh, and ow. we... <laughs> Sorry, I banged into Why is the lighting so grey? Because this light is bad. Like a, a ghost. But we went to the shop and got some food a bit for the cinema tonight. I am excited and very scared to watch the film tonight actually. I was telling them my neighbour and mum and dad and they said, oh, I want to go and watch it. Yeah, but I want to show you what we've got. We've got plenty of snacks. I am. So first, this sweet and salty popcorn. This is good stuff. Are you alright? Yeah. The minstrels to go in the popcorn. The magic stars, I already had these, but oh well. And then, it's got, you wanted these mini chocolate no, orange. <laughs> the penguin biscuits, but you thought... They were gingerbread, so... Thought they were gingerbread men. Yeah, they're still lovely, though. I, I like them. They're all right. They're not quite gingerbread. Yeah, well, they're not gingerbread, are they? So well, that's no. why. That's yeah. Like oh, yeah, and then I've also got a new teddy bear. We'll yeah, that Scott this. actually bought me. He's called Alfred. Cute, he's like a little baby. Mm -hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. God. But anyway, yeah, we're going to be having tea now, pretty much. We're having cottage pie for tea. Uh, uh, uh. I'm excited because my dad is making it and he, he also makes really good meals. What are you doing? Yeah, so everybody, it is now Tuesday. I have 
I come home from work, I did a um, five hour shift. So I am pretty tired. My hair really needs brushed. I've not brushed it since this morning. Um, I am honestly so tired and I am so hungry. I just wanted to vlog a little bit of today while I can. At the start of the week, I can't really vlog as much because I obviously work Monday to Thursday at the job where I work more hours compared to the salon because I do kind of have two jobs now and YouTube as well is like it is a lot to do because I do work six days a week but obviously like some weeks I may not have as busy weeks as others you know what I mean so yeah but anyway I'm actually waiting on a Morphe parcel because I ordered from Morphe a week on Sunday so that is like I don't even know 10 days now I think and it is still not arrived I had a look on Trustpilot and Morphe actually has one and a half stars out of five which is like really bad it's in the red zone and I did order when it it was 50% off everything so I understand it may have like a lot of orders because it was half price and everything but the nine days for your parcel not to arrive is crazy so i'm going to have to get in touch with morphe i do not recommend ordering it from morphe's actual site i know that a beauty bay you don't stock morphe anymore so like it's a bit harder to order it but yeah, yeah that is not a very good they've obviously took the money out of my account but i've not had an email confirm the order so that's a bit sneaky you know has anyone else had this experience with Morphe? Because I cannot be the only person who hasn't. So I'm filming this. It's my birthday in... Uh, what's the date today, actually? I'm not quite sure. Yeah, my birthday is this Sunday as I'm filming this. I will be filming a separate birthday vlog for people to watch and stuff, you know, exciting times. Um, so, yeah, I, I look really tired because I've been up since half eight. Got did stay over last night, um, you know because the film finished at like it, 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 10 past 10. I don't know if I actually vlogged this morning, but the film was really good. It was it was scary, but not like really scary. It was it more kind of jump scares. And it was a bit it got like it, it gory-ish because it was like a constant kind of stabbing and killing people. Yeah, it was good. And I highly recommend if you want to watch Halloween Kills, go to the cinema and stuff. It is an 18 film, and I know why, because it's very got, like, blood and stuff and, and knives and guns and, you know. But yeah, it was very good, and I've just noticed how on my hand I've got these weird marks. I don't know where they've come from. It looks like a, a sort of blister or something, I don't know where that is from. But anyway, for tea, my dad is making us chicken tikka masala. I am excited because I love having curry, and... For my birthday, I'm actually going to an Indian restaurant and it's a very popular one as well. So I'm really excited to go because I've never been to this Indian before in Carlisle. So I'm really excited. So yes, I'm going to be a 20 year old in f five days now. Y yeah, five days. So that is scary. <laughs> like really scary. Where's the time gone? I'm excited to go away with Scott because we are going to Manchester, which I am excited about. Um, I've only ever been once before and it wasn't like a good experience for me, but I'm excited to go back again and hopefully enjoy it. So yeah, also the makeup will be slowly coming off my face. I have been using the Too Faced foundation, which is really good. Um, it's oil free, so like I don't look too oily because it is oil free, but obviously I could do a bit on my forehead, you know, but... I am hungry, I am so tired. I'm going to get changed at my work uniform now. And hopefully tomorrow, I'll be more awake because I will be starting work at 4 a.m. and then finish on oh, oh no, 5 a.m. and then finishing at half 10 and then like, I've got the rest of the day. I think I will have to film a YouTube video as well. So like, I'm I'm thinking of filming a designer video. But yeah, are, are you guys seem to be liking the DHG Holly uploads. It's that's really good. I do love THG and I do have a lot of things in my basket already for a future haul. So if you want to see a future haul, you know, leave a comment and a thumbs up on this video. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, 
it's me rambling i'm hopefully you're gonna have my tea soon because i will be hungry as anything if you don't hurry up honestly 10 minutes is gonna be the longest 10 minutes of my life hey everybody it's now wednesday i am in my bed i have been at work this morning oh my god this wallpaper is so terrible i probably had this wallpaper on for i don't even know how long five years now i'd say maybe it's because i'm always on the side of the bed and i'm kind of leaning on it and it came off um i will maybe have to think of getting some new wallpaper or maybe get a headboard for this bed we'll have to wait and see anyway i was working this morning until half ten and then me and in my family it went to Gretna Gateway it's basically a designer outlet it's not as good as all the designer outlets like a Bista Village and whatever else but it's still good and I actually bought something only one item because it's my birthday very very soon four days I didn't want to kind of buy anything we did go into the cosmetic company store it basically sells your designer makeup like Too Faced, Tom Ford, MAC makeup, Estee Lauder and other brands and yeah, the Too Faced section it was really good for you know, that kind of eyeshadow palettes but yeah you know I didn't buy anything from there however I did go into Hallmark it's like a card and kind of gift shop and they sell Yankee candles and if you guys know I love my Yankee candles this one is my favourite as you can tell it's very black I've been burning it and like it burns the glass when you burn it it's kind of weird but I love my sugar blossom and that's my large one well they had the medium Yankee candles only a few of them for 5 99 so what I decided to buy myself was this sweet pea it won for 5.99 yeah, the retail price is 11.99 so it is a six pound saving and it's not too overpowering as well it just smell like it's really sweet and very fresh um and it doesn't it give you a headache because if some of the candles i was smelling in there if oh my god yeah, they were so strong and so like overpowering like it was horrible but yeah yeah, that one it was a good buy it had a few other scents and i've actually been having a look for the porn star martini one and they did have it but in a tiny little jar for 6.29 i believe so it wasn't as a good bargain as that one but i really want the passion fruit martini one because it smells unbelievable but yeah i'll probably have to wait until my birthday but yeah and also update on the morphe parcel situation so i contacted morphe last night and i basically explained the whole situation anyways long story short yeah, they've basically emailed me and said that the parcel has got lost in transit i don't believe them because yeah, the palette i ordered is now sold out online so i'm kind of thinking yeah, they've made out as if they've shipped it yeah, but the stock levels are wrong on the website so i'm going to be getting a refund so 15 pounds will be going back into my bank which i am i mean i'm pleased i'm getting a refund you know things like this happen but if you ever want to order off morphe you just be very careful because they have a lot of bad reviews on there um you're not always the best place to order from i don't think but yeah anyway i've just been having some magic stars and some minstrels because i am addicted to chocolate my skin is a break now because it's a time of the month so i've just kind of been wearing dark clothes and just kind of been chilling in my bed i also have this auckland sweatshirt on from sheen i've had it for a while um a very small sizing i think it's like a six or an extra small and like the arms are very kind of short so like if you had a longer arms it would be too short for your arms but it's a cozy little jumper i like wearing it so yeah so what i'm gonna do is i don't think i've got any videos to edit because this is a weekly vlog it means i don't have to edit 
until the end of the week. I am so excited for my birthday. All you're going to hear in this vlog is yeah, my birthday and whatever else. But honestly, I am so excited for my birthday. Like, I'm not even excited for the presents. I'm more just excited to be able, like, if the excitement of having a birthday and like having like a birthday cake. I don't think I'm actually having a birthday cake, mind. I I've requested a brown, like, a big tray of brownie from Scott for my birthday with, like, chocolates on. So that's going to be lovely. Um, and I think I'm more excited for going away with him as well. So, yeah. I am so tired. I was going to have a nap, but it's nearly 3 o'clock and I'll be going to sleep at 9 o'clock because I'm getting up early for work again. And then I'll be in the salon from friday to saturday but i will be seeing scott tomorrow which i'm happy about because i did see him on one day but we don't really see each other a lot yeah, probably only two or three times a week which i suppose it can be a lot for some couples but some couples see each other like almost every day um because we only see each other like two three times a week so it would like to make it would like to make the most of of our time off honestly uh, this bed is so comfortable <laughs> i'm just gonna chill on my bed and watch youtube i think i'm going to watch it <laughs> who should I watch on youtube i might have a look if if um dad v girls is actually uploaded also i do have a video it, it going up at 6 p.m um as i'm filming this on a wednesday so if you've not watched it, it is a What I Eat In A Day video. It's really good. Highly recommend. Yeah. I am about to clean <laughs> this whole kind of mess. But before I do, I just want to show you what the type of makeup products I use on the daily. I mean, I say on the daily, but I don't have any makeup on at the moment. You know what I mean. So, for foundation, I absolutely love the Too Faced Born This Way foundation in the shade Snow. It's one of the paler shades and it's perfect for people who are very pale but have a pink undertones and this foundation is oil free. Perfect for people with oily skin like myself because honestly my skin is so oily. This is that one. For primer I used a Nivea Men Pro Shave Balm. If you know you know it's just absolutely amazing. It smells good too. It's a really good primer. I'm obsessed with it powder it's really smashed i am in need of a new one a revolution powder i think powder is just a powder it does the same job as every other powder out there it's just a basic powder and nothing else much to say eyebrows a morphe eyebrow pomade i love morphe eye products i think they definitely do the best kind of eye stuff there in latte love it then a maybelline a gel eyeliner in black because it's the best a very old <laughs> a maybelline a lash sensational you can tell it's old when the packaging has started to rub off however i do have a few brand new ones which i will be able to use soon a brand new packaging yes i do have like a lot of just random eye products in this drawer you know it is what it is and then for bronzer too faced a natural lust it's been discontinued it's a beautiful one it's a good a big bronzer this is my 18th birthday presents like it's lasted me two years which i think is really good for bronzers because i mean they often last a long time anyway but the packaging is beautiful then I need to clean a lot of my products because they have a powder because this actually smashed all over in my makeup bag it does need to go clean again but it gets very messy yes this smashed over everything so it's my p louise base in this shade 0.5 i love this for myself use it as an eye base amazing a revolution concealer in this shade c3 it's such a good concealer again highly recommend it has to be the conceal and hydrate one it's the best coverage then eyelashes i just have a random pair these are, are doll beauty lashes. I think they may be Brooke ones, but I've just put them in a tight lashes box. I also do have an actual pair of tight lashes in TL1 here, which are huge, but I love them. And then my doll beauty highlighter. It, the packaging has, has kind of come off, but you know, it's fine. I like a diamond. 
I love it. Then, I've been trying out, I would say, a new Morphe palette. I've had it in my drawer for ages. It is this, oh, what's it called? Boss Mood 35M. And the other shades I've been using are these two and that brownie one. Because I have been into my kind of darker eye colours at the moment. As it's been getting colder, I kind of put more bronzer on and darker colours like on my eyes and my lips. So that is why I've been using this palette. Then for lipsticks, I do have like a few. I have a couple of the Soap and Glory Sex and Mother Pucker Plumping Glosses in a Candy Queen. And what's this other one? A Rise and Shine. Yeah, they're really good glosses. I love them. A Morphe Lip Liner. Frenchy. Then I do have a couple of Huda Beauty liquid lipsticks. Yeah, these two here are the Demi Matte ones. Um, this one is in the shade Feminist, and I've not actually opened this one, but this is in Sheikah. But I've, I've already tried this, and I will say that Huda Beauty Matte Lip Glosses, they don't set they're completely dry, and they never dry out your lips either. So if you want a liquid a lipstick that it will not dry your lips out, either head over to... A Huda Beauty online or go to TK Maxx, that's where I bought these two from for six ninety nine, I believe. Yeah. I love them so much. They smell really good as well. So yeah, but this is everything in in my makeup bag. It just needs a bit of a clean. I do have like a couple of other items in there, but that it is terrible. I'm not gonna lie. It is horrid. And then I do have my next bottle gloss, which I never really use, but it's just like a pinky colour. I suppose it is pretty cute. It's quite like a bright pink. Um, I'm not really like a bright pink kind of lip gloss wearer, but when I like a bit of pink, I will go for that one. Burning with this candle now, honestly, it's absolutely gorgeous. Look how many candles I have now. I've got these two here, this chunky candle here, and then I do have a few on the windowsill also. Look at the size of this thing here. Yeah, this basically shoots, yeah, this kind of shooting away and it basically flowers and when yeah, the flowers die, yeah, this kind of, it, it falls off. Yeah, but look how tall it is. It's probably hard yeah, to even see how tall it is, but like, it's huge. Um, and yeah, this needs to be potted, I'm aware. Yeah, the reason why it isn't in a little pretty pot, like a plant pot, is because it's grown too quickly and I've not had a chance to get like a pretty plant pot to put it in. So it is going to need to be potted again. But yeah, yeah, this one just keeps shooting all the time. I don't know why, but I mean, I suppose it is a sign of it being healthy, I suppose. But yeah, that's the candles I got on there. Then it's so dark in this room because like it's really dark and gloomy outside. I've got vanilla a three-week candle on so it smells gorgeous. I keep candles are really good. I've also got... This candle here, oh my god, it's so dark. Another candle, I think I've got one in there. Um, oh yeah, and then a couple of candles here. This new Christmas gingerbread, the one from Hall Bargains, which I am yet to use. And then a pink champagne one from Cherries. And then, oh yeah, and also got a new hairspray. Because I love the Swartz, is it Sw Swartz Cough? I don't know how you say it. Um, it got to be glued hairspray. However, when I was in b and I, I found this one. And I've never seen this before. And this is basically like a volumising. And when I curl my hair, I like my hair to be volumised. Volumised? Volumised. <laughs> oh my god, why can't I talk? Um, and I've never seen it before. So I thought I would try it out. I've not curled my hair in a few days. So... When I next curl my hair, I will have to probably use it and test it out. But yeah, got to be hairsprays are the best. I highly recommend, especially if they got to be glued one. It's oh my god, amazing. Anyway, then I've just got a pound violet candle, which actually smells unreal. A wax melt in there. Then more candles. 
besides all the candles in my room I, I also have my glasses on because i need to put them on because i can't see i also have some washing to put away that's my work bag my room is pretty much a mess 24 7 i'm not gonna lie yes i had to grab the dr beckman carpet steam remover because a bit of ice dough from one of my palettes black as well actually went onto my carpet and even though i've wiped it you can see the two well in multiple stains honestly this carpet is stained to hell don't ever get a cream carpets i mean luckily these carpets have been in for 15 years but if these were new carpets i would be so furious right now but yeah, yeah this is a lifesaver though i love it and if you if you ever want to get any stains at your carpet honestly this stuff it just it works a dream honestly yeah i love it it is and now thursday guys i'm leaving the house again because i am going to see scott and the weather is appalling it literally floods in cumbria all the time and it's actually flooded in a few places and we're going to be going out with scott's granddad today and he actually needs to go it's one of the places that is currently cat well almost flooded it's called cockermouth in cumbria and it floods i mean it floods everywhere in cumbria but at that particular a place the river like the river is almost over one of the bridges which is really high so that's not good i'm also kind of worried in case it floods in carlisle because in my workplace is is built on a on a floodplain and it floods a lot over there as well so that's not good but let's give some happy vibes um i don't really know what there is positive at the moment because yeah I, I, i've been at work again this morning i'm literally gonna have to leave the house i don't think i'm even gonna take a handbag with me i think i'm just gonna bring my purse I don't have any makeup on again because who can be bothered with makeup? You know, I really can't be bothered. I don't think I'm going to bring a handbag. All I need is my purse, isn't it? Like, I don't. Isn't this if I need, like, certain stuff? Because handbags are just a, a, a faff, aren't they? I'm at Scott's house now. I'm with my little Daisy Bear. Ha oh, ha. She was so cute earlier. Who's this, Daisy? Who's this? You're not interested. Oh, hi! You're beautiful. She's so, so fluffy and soft. I've not been with her in around two weeks now, almost. So it's like our, our, what's it called? A reunion. So I've given her lots of cuddles and treats. And Scott is actually making our tea. It is only like one o'clock, but oh, it's going to go. In. It, it's going to go. Going in, in the oven on a low heat for a few hours. If I'm having beef casserole for tea, aren't we? we? Ah, Daisy might have a bit. You're going to have a bit of beef. Is Daisy going to have a bit of beef? Who's that in the camera there? Is that you? <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah, she's a very lovely behaved dog, aren't you? You're very lovely. You are. And I've gave her a few treats as well, so you're a good girl now, aren't you? Excuse <laughs> The lighting it isn't the best. Oh yeah, and I had to drive to Scotts obviously because I'd be live forty five minutes away. Um and it was some of the roads it were full of flood water. I kinda I shook so fed up. <laughs> um so I kinda had to drive in the middle of the road and drive in a higher gear as well. What's up? I managed to get here safely, so hopefully are you huffing? Are you huffing on camera? Are you being a diva? Are you saying I don't want to be on camera today. Is, is that what you're saying? I managed to get here safely anyway, so that's the main thing. But it just keeps raining and raining, so you'll have to wait and see what the weather's going to be like. You know, I'm hoping I'll be able to get home okay. It depends on the roads. There are two roads out of where Scott lives, so if I'm almost blocked, I might just have to take the other road, but oh well, it's fine. Days is on guard. It was waiting for Scott's granddad, and then we are going to go. I could have just sat there on the couch like a little human. Oh, what's the matter? You 
you want any more cuddles? Scott is making beef casserole for tea, aren't you? Chef Melvin, over here. Keep a hat on me. I'll try. I might not be able to, but I will see. Anyway, hey, look at this. A lovely storm cooking up. What are you doing? Hiya! Hiya! Oh, did you want to play with some toys? I remember buying this for Daisy and now she's ripped the ears. Well, it kind of ripped the ears off. What's happened to the ears? What's happened to this? It will cause it'll pick a mix. Look at all this and Mark Scott has filled this thing up. Middle. Look. We do. Oh my god. We do. When, when, you, when it's full, take a yeah. few out, add a few more. Oh my god. And I've just got uh, two packets of sweets because obviously, yeah, they line up. Mm. They have a half price pick and mix at the moment. That reminds me of Bonnie. I'm kind of tempted to get it on my own, but you've got a big one to share, haven't we? So that's oh, I like red and black. Yeah, what are your guys' favourite sweets from the pick and mix? Because I love bonbons. I love them ones. And the fudge as well. On the side of it. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to fit one of these in there, watch. Oh my god. So what you doing? Still going. Do this. There's some yeah. boards on the side. Make a bit of room. <laughs> Make a bit of room, look. Oh my god. So you could still get more in that. Yeah. I don't think you could. Yeah, that's enough. Your teeth are going to be crying. I can have them all now. I know that. Look. Not a worry in sight. <laughs> Cheers. It is Friday, guys. My hair is wet. I literally tried to get a change into some pj bottoms because i went to the post office and it literally like i was only walking for 10 minutes right and my jeans it were absolutely soaked through just there on the radiator over there but yeah i've been at work today i'm now home the weather is appalling it's literally like a gray outside i'm planning to film the video but i'm going to need the ring light on full brightness because it's actually horrendous i'm gonna have to like yeah, put a bit of makeup on my chin because it always comes off when it rains and kind of probably straighten my hair again i'm i'm also planning on waxing my legs again tonight because yeah, the plan is for tomorrow because it's my birthday on sunday and i'll keep going about it and to be tanned for my birthday I, i'm gonna be using the doll tan so if i wax my legs today this will have smooth the legs and then I will have to redo my tan for the Manchester, so I'm probably have to put the tan on in the second because we do go away on the third. So I've got a lot to do. Also, my hair is a mess. The quality is probably appalling. Yeah, it is really bad. <laughs> yeah, I've been at work this morning. Had three clients. Had a good day to be honest. Um, it was just eyebrow and facial appointments and then tomorrow i've got two makeup appointments and a facial so a nice mix this week of a different a tiny treatments in the way you won't be able to see but there's patches on my leg where the hair it will never grow back anymore so yeah, that's kind of a good thing i suppose you know but it's more on the back of my leg where like it's hairy because i often forget to wax the back of my legs so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to have to sit like that and kind of wax my legs. Um, it's pretty much cooled down. I've got all my strips and stuff. I'm going to need a lot of strips because waxing your legs, it does use up a lot of wax as well. So I'm definitely going to have to um, use a lot of them today because my legs are a bit hairy. And I'm going to be fake tanning for my birthday. I think I've already spoke about this earlier um so i want to be having nice smooth legs hair free legs um for my, my birthday because i'm excited now oh my god guys i it look horrendous i know but i am so proud of myself because this is the first time i have ever been able to keep bendy rollers in my hair because whenever i've tried in the past firstly the bendy rollers were tiny for my hair um and also my hair was too wet for them yeah, but this time i was sensible and watched a tutorial and i've learned uh, kind of how to put them in i mean it's still like a bit of hair kind of hanging out i'm not a hairdresser i am awful with hair but 
that is why I'm really proud of myself because I've actually kind of done it. These are either Bendy Rollers and Primark. They were part of like a collab. Either Andrew Fitz Simmons, I don't know, uh, collection. And they're really cute in pink. So I'm probably going to take them out at around nine o'clock. So like in two hours. Because I think you meant to keep them in for like three or four hours. And I put them in at around half five. So I'm hoping I'll have curly hair. And if I do, I might hairspray it. I'm not going to sleep in them because it'll be so uncomfortable and plus it'll come out and then like my hair will be all flat and it'll just be horrible. So yeah, I'm I'm excited to see the results. Yeah, and then hopefully I won't have to do anything with my hair tomorrow. I'm hoping anyway. Everyone, I guess whose birthday it is tomorrow? Mine. So I am at home. I have been working at the salon. Yeah, my makeup is probably coming off because I've had it on. Since around 8 o'clock-ish, I am looking a bit oily, I am aware. Um, also, I do have a mobile makeup appointment at 2 o'clock. All my makeup bits are in, in the car. I just have some in the car because it's easier. Um, so yeah, so this morning, well, oh yes, an update on the hair curl. So basically, because I hair straight my hair, and like, I took it out and I put it in the shower cap in my hair, it doesn't it fully dry so i did kind of curl it this morning to add a bit of a nice little wave to the hair but yeah it is still curly i have used either got to be glued plumped um hairspray so working pretty well on my hair um I'm probably going to set off at quarter to two for the mobile makeup appointment because it is just in Carlisle. And then after that, I'm going to be getting ready for my birthday. I'm probably going to be having a shower and then fake tanning. Um, obviously taking all this makeup off as well. I might actually wash my hair again because, like, in my hair, it feels kind of disgusting with all this hair spritting. Hey, everyone. I am home. I'm going to... Up to oh, my God, why is my bag so sticky? I, I don't know anyway. Right, yes. I am going to update you all on what I've been up to. So basically, I would have vlogged when I was kind of chilling before going to a client's house for makeup. I've done that and then it's actually my second cousin's birthday tomorrow. Same day as mine, but he was having like a little birthday party for his first birthday. So I went there for like an hour and kind of like a scene on my family and stuff, which was nice. And please excuse all the clothes. This is the reality of my life. Anyway... After that, me and my mother decided to go to town. So I'm going to show you what I've got because I've got all makeup related kind of bits. So I'm just going to like show you what I've got a bit by bit. Also, guys, I've, oh yeah, I've got a birthday card off one of my uh, relatives. Um, yeah, also, I decided to go into Boots today because, as, as I might have said earlier, in this vlog as well, that the boots actually sell like more, well, the boots where I live, it now sells Morphe, all sorts of cool kind of bits. And as you know, I am a Morphe addict, even though at that time, it never delivered to me. But anyway, we're not going to talk about that. Um, and I use Morphe products on my clients. I love their products so much. Um, so yeah, so I had a look in the boots and they had so much, like, in my boots, it used to be like a really dingy, really like old kind of like stands and stuff. However, yeah, they've actually modernised it and oh my god, it looks so much better. Yeah, they've got Fenty Beauty in there, Huda Beauty, which is like hard to get hold of. They've got Kat Von D, Morphe, um, Milani, they've got a Lime Crime makeup. And what other brand was there? And Nas and like a lot of other brands however I didn't get anything because it's my birthday tomorrow however go to the NYX stand because I love all their products so I was in need of some lipsticks so I got three of these suede matte lipsticks I've only ever tried the NYX liquid lipsticks I've never tried these ones but people like having like a lipstick so firstly I got one in soft spoken which is like a, a purpley pink i then got one in stockholm which is a very popular color in the lip glosses 
and then free spirit saw like a lighter nude a darker nude and like a pinky purple one and they were eight pounds each so that would have cost me 24 pounds but i only ended up spending 28 oh yeah i don't know why then i also got a lip liner which is in nude beige it's like a, a nude color and that was four pounds that is why i spent 28 pounds but i think i'm gonna go into boots more often because it, it firstly you'd have a nyx stand which is really good for like lip stuff um and now if i ever run out of the morphe eyebrow pomade i can just go there instead of actually going to the newcastle to get it i mean it was a tiny little Morphe stand, it, like it only had like a few eyeshadow palettes on, it didn't have any lip products, it only had uh, the combination things, but it's handy for like I like eyeshadow palettes, it, it, it had this really gorgeous one for £39, but it's a lot of money and it's also my birthday tomorrow, so I think I might have, I have asked for some makeup -y bits, but yeah, so I've got those four and I am chuffed a bit because I'm going to add them to my collection, and then also went into Primark and grabbed myself a new micellar cleansing water. I used to hate this, but I prefer it over Gar Well, it's probably on par with Garnier now, but it's £2, 500ml. It's a bargain and I love it. It can be quite... It's not always the best when you get it in your eyes. It can sting your eyes. But, I mean, for £2, it's fine. Then I also got a Juo, a long-lasting quick set of glue because I was actually in need of a glue and this is five pounds which i don't think is too bad because these uh, glues are really expensive um it is the black one but i mean i'm pretty good with applying eyelash glue to my lashes and not actually getting it on my eyes now so yeah i actually got some makeup for myself instead of actually spending it on and my clients that is like a brand new one in in good time for my birthday five pounds a good place to get it is primark and then finally, I don't have any powders, as you guys know. I was going to go to town and get one. It didn't actually have the Revolution one. I think I might have just continued it. I, I'm, I'm not too sure what's happened to it. So, I decided to have a look in, in the Revolution Pro section, because that's like a bit higher endish a Revolution makeup. So, I got myself a Revolution Pro a press powder in sand. I hate using, like... The translucent powders on my face i feel as if it it makes your face go really white and it literally smells of talc and stuff and i was going to buy a, a collection powder but yeah, then I, I just thought to myself like i've had collection powders before and yeah, they kind of make your face go weird they're not gritty but kind of like i don't know how to describe it but anyway I want to get this because I've never tried it before and it's not translucent. It is in the shade Sand. It can be just appreciate the Revolution Pro's packaging. I do have their loose translucent powder and I hate it. I think it's because I hate white loose powders in general anyway. But I do have a Revolution Pro bronzer in this type of packaging and it's amazing. Um, It's so nice wow oh my god yeah, this is nine pounds so more pricier for a powder but it's good because i like a bit of color to my powders oh my god that's so pretty it's such like a nice stiff kind of opening thing can you tell and it's also gold oh my god i love these i highly recommend buying in the bronzer of this because it's really good and i I am sure this powder is going to be good, so I, I treat myself to a nice little new powder. Um, not the, the most exciting one, but this is like CC protecting, protecting CC perfecting press powder. I need to go in the shower, guys, because I'm going to be tanning. My mum has volunteered to tan my back. I mean, she had no choice really, but you know, I really need a setting spray because I don't actually have one. I don't have one for myself because like you know, they use on clients, so. It was meant to be eight pounds. I got it half price. It was four pounds. Um, the Revolution Pro Hydra Matte a, a Fixing Spray because I just needed a fixing spray and it was buy one get a second half price. Um, so I just thought, well, you know, it's it's a setting spray. Yeah, they all do 
the same job in my opinion you know um and it's in like a nice kind of i don't know how you open it up by right? it's quite stiff your everything pro stuff is very stiff good packaging oh my god it's actually gold like how pretty is all this oh my god yeah the lid is actually like quite a stiff thing which i'm, I'm happy about because at least it won't like break on me but it's like so there we go yeah but anyway but this is my little haul i'm gonna nip in the shower now it will take my makeup off and it almost will be off and then go in the shower um and then tan and then probably have my tea i don't i don't want ham for tea i yeah i don't know the day before in my birthday it's always the most exciting the longest day i think it's because you're kind of excited for your birthday type thing like who else agrees it's quite like it, it one of those things you know but anyway i am probably gonna end this weekly vlog here because i will be vlogging tomorrow um i am super excited for my birthday i'm sure i will have a lovely day tomorrow you'll be able to find it out anyway and if you have enjoyed this weekly vlog please make sure to leave a thumbs up a comment down below also subscribe and i will see you all in my next video bye buddy.